Hey everyone, welcome to Ashley G Wellness. My name is Ashley and today we are doing a short practice that is designed to help stretch away stress. When I get super stressed out or anxious, my body feels it real bad, not just my mind. Um, I start to feel like I'm crawling out of my skin, um, like I need to just like get out of my body because everything's just so compressed. And so what we're going to do today is something that I like to do when I'm stressed out, when my muscles start feeling like they're holding all this tension or the weight of the world. And so I hope this practice does as much for you as it does for me. Let's go ahead and get started by just centering ourselves, feeling free to gaze at a point out in front of you, maybe closing your eyes and just connecting to either your breath or something about this moment that helps to bring you some comfort. And just take this moment here to drop in and drop out of whatever is going on in your world for just this short period of time. Offering yourself this moment of space and peace to come back to yourself. Take a full breath in and exhale with a sigh. And gently open your eyes. Please begin on all fours, hands and knees. Line up your wrists and your shoulders, knees and your hips. And just start cat and cow, rounding your spine, bringing your chin to your chest, tailbone through your legs. And on your inhale, reversing the movement, curling into your lower, middle and upper back. And just keep moving back and forth. You're always invited in cat and cow to start moving your spine more organically, just doing whatever the wisdom of your body wants. Maybe do crazy eights, swing your hips and shoulders side to side, roll your head and neck. And I invite you, if you'd like, you can exhale with a sigh or a hum throughout your practice. Sometimes that Vocalization helps to actively release stress and tension, even trauma from the body. Once you're all evened out, bring your knees together and your feet together. Drop your hips down to your heels. And then flip your arms behind you so your palms point up. And then maybe drop your whole torso, your head to the floor. If that's too far, you can always put a pillow or a block under your head for more support. And just allow your shoulders to drop toward the floor as well. Slow, deep breaths. Breathing into any of the spaces in your body that feel tight, limited, or weighed down. And lift your head up, take your hands out in front of you, come back to all fours. Take your knees a little bit wider, but keep your toes together. Inhale your right arm up and exhale your right arm under your left arm and your shoulder and ear to the floor. Feel free to stay working here. This can be good enough or extend it to walk your left hand forward and to the right. Not really focusing too much on squeezing anything, just really focusing on getting a stretch. So whatever feels good for you to do, do here and now.
Then walk your hand back, slowly push yourself up, reach your right arm all the way back up as you started. And lower your hand to the floor, take your left arm all the way open to the left. And then left arm under your right arm, shoulder and ear to the floor. Maybe walk your hand forward, maybe keep it where it was. Just focus on the stretch, focus on your breath. And gently, slowly walk your right hand back. Untwist, reaching your left arm all the way open. Inhale. Then exhale, hand to the floor. Come into a down dog. Hands at the front of your mat. Lift your knees, push your thighs back, and stretch the backs of your legs. Always feel free to bend your knees instead of straightening your legs. You get to choose if you're staying still or if you bend one knee and straighten the other. For some people, it's helpful for their stress to do more movement and for others, less movement. So whatever feels right for you today in this moment, do that. Try to make your exhale super, super long. The longer the exhale, possibly the better it will feel in your body. The more oxygen you'll receive from your breath because you're letting that breath out slower. So there's more time for your body to soak up that oxygen the slower you breathe out. Take your feet as wide as your mat. Bend your knees a lot so your ribs and your thighs will touch when you take your arms back. And just fold forward between your legs. Letting your spine hang heavy like a rag doll. Maybe shake your head no or yes. Maybe grab onto each elbow with each hand. And maybe swing side to side, leaning weight into one foot and then to the other, bending one knee, straightening the other. Sometimes even I like to tap left elbow to left shin, right elbow to right shin. And walk your hands all the way back out, feet all the way back, and come all the way down onto your belly. For a belly down shoulder stretch, take your left arm all the way out to the left so your palm is flat, and your right hand next to your right rib cage. And just roll onto your outer left hip as you move your left shoulder back. You can come up all the way to parallel so your hips are straight up and down like so or you can lean your right hip a little more forward so you're not so stacked. If you're stacked, stay here or scoot your hips forward and maybe lift your right leg, bend your knee and step it behind you. Feel free to drop your left ear to the floor if optimal for your neck. Getting the muscles in the front of the torso near the pecs in the chest, hoping to promote a deeper breath. And gently lift your head back up and then come all the way back out. 
Switching sides, taking your right arm all the way to the right, palm flat. Left hand next to your rib cage and just roll onto your outer right hip. Maybe stacking hips. If your hips are stacked, maybe stack and lift your left knee so your foot can come to the floor behind you and maybe drop your ear to the floor. Even just notice what side of your body tends to feel tighter or more constricted. Which side of your body do you tend to hold on to the most stress and tension? And slowly roll back out. Flip onto your back. Cross your right ankle on top of your left knee and then use your right hip to point your right knee to the right. And just draw your legs toward your torso, grab your thigh or your shin, and you choose how closely toward your torso you pull your legs. I really like to rock side to side. It's very soothing for me to do so. It also allows for a slight gentle massage of the quadratus lumborum, specifically focusing on the right side this time. Quadratus lumborum is a big muscle in your middle to lower back. Often this muscle can hold a lot of knots pulling up on the SI joint even, creating some hip pain. And even above that, it can cause middle to upper back pain and so on. And let that one go. Switch sides so your left ankle is on your right knee. Widen your left knee to the left and then draw your legs toward your chest. Interlace fingers around your right thigh or shin and maybe do that rocking side to side. Using each posture as an opportunity to breathe more deeply. And let that one go as well. From inside both of your legs, grab either, you can wrap your elbows around your knees, you can grab your shins, ankles, or go for your outer feet. And push your feet and hands into each other as you rock side to side. Maybe stay still. Maybe bend one knee and straighten the other. Just doing whatever feels natural and good to you. And then bring your knees together a little bit apart to wrap your elbows around your legs. Hook fingers, maybe grab wrists or elbows or just hold your knees with your hands. And gently maybe keep rocking side to side or in circles. 
You can stay here or keeping ribs and thighs close, extending your legs straighter, maybe reaching your legs beyond your head. And slowly bend your knees. Feel free to rest either with your feet wide and your knees together for a few moments, or you can extend your legs all the way out for Shavasana, resting posture. Be here as long as you like, as long as is necessary. And remember this quality, this calm in this practice, Revisit this practice as often as you need to bring yourself at least some sense of calm in your life when you need it the most. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.